Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you all to this momentous occasion where RTS is expanding our biodiesel program to help keep Gainesville and the Gator Nation green, as well as the unveiling of 17 brand new low floor Gillig buses that were recently driven across country from California to lower our fleet age. And this is part of RTS's expansion to provide better service to the residents of Gainesville while also reducing the costs to the residents of Gainesville with lower maintenance costs, increased fuel efficiency, as well as other points that some of our speakers will be talking about. We'd like to welcome all of the dignitaries from not only the city of Gainesville, but also the University of Florida. And now, right now, I would like to introduce uh, Gainesville's current and new mayor, Mayor Craig Lowe. Mayor Lowe. Well, thank you all for being here for this wonderful occasion. This is a great step forward for our community and it's emblematic of our commitment to transportation choice in the city of Gainesville and in the Gainesville area. Uh, we have a great program with RTS and the University of Florida and the student body play an important role in that in terms of uh, meeting our overall transportation needs as a community. This has been a program that, uh, of, uh, that has involved the student body's investment in our bus system and we hope that we will able, be able to further expand our services to the entire community. With the biodiesel program, we are able to increase our use of renewable fuel so that we can reduce the amount of carbon that we're putting in, carbon dioxide that we're putting into the air and meet the challenges that climate change does uh, pose for us. Also, we're reducing pollution in other ways as well. And with respect to the new buses, this will allow us to lower the, the age of our fleet, as was mentioned before, which does involve also improving air quality as well due to the uh, better air pollution standards of the newer buses. Also, we are adding new routes. We're adding uh, routes uh, uh, 23 and 25 uh, in a way to provide a more reliable bus service, and especially to areas that are underserved and routes that really provide for greater connections for more intermodal transport. With respect to 25, for example, this is a test route that we were, uh, were putting in place to provide transportation from the University of Florida in downtown to the airport. And I think this is a great step forward, and I encourage all of our citizens to take advantage of that and to make that a success for our community. This has been a great step forward, as I mentioned before, but it has involved a lot of effort. I want to thank um, all of the people uh, at RTS, Jesus Gomez, for his contributions, Teresa Scott, and all of the people that are involved in RTS, and especially the people who are working in the fleet maintenance facility and the drivers of our buses. Without their contributions, we could not have the success that we have seen. Uh, for example, what we've been talking about fleet age. Actually, we've had, we, our fleet and its age has been an issue for us, but we have wonderful staff in the maintenance facility that keep our buses going in an economical way. And the new addition to our fleet will help out in this regard as well. So I want to congratulate all of the people at RTS for their great contribution to our community and encourage all citizens to take advantage of this opportunity as well and utilize RTS whenever possible to make this program and all of our enhancements a success. Thanks so much. Now I would like to introduce RTS's transit director, Jesus Gomez. Thank you everybody for coming. It's, uh, um, during the last four years, we have an aggressive problem trying to replace our fleet. Like the mayor said, we started the fleet uh, four years ago, was 11 years old. And now with these new buses, we're gonna see it to go down to seven years old. So it's a big improvement in our fleet, but it's gonna reduce our maintenance costs. We estimated over uh, 100,000 a year that we, we've been saving. And on top of that, with biodiesel and all our fleet, we're also going to reduce emissions, and there's going to be big savings on that area, too. And we plan to continue that as long as we can. You know, it's a budget is always an issue, but thank you, everybody, for coming, and we're going to show the, you know, you can go inside. It's a little hot right now, so inside the buses, I have nice AC, and you can enjoy that uh, a little more. 
With that, I'm gonna ask uh, Paul Falkers, assistant city manager, to say some to have some words. Very briefly, uh, but on behalf of our uh, city manager, Russ Blackburn, who unfortunately uh, can't be here, uh, this is, it's a wonderful sight and it's really a great present to the Gainesville community of these 17 new buses. I think back when I first joined the city back in 2007, one of the first things I came out to, one of the first things that I came out to was an unveiling of, I think, 17 new buses that had just arrived. So over the last uh, three years, that's about 34 new buses for the RTS fleet. So that's just tremendous progress, tremendous reduction in the age of the fleet, and certainly a much more comfortable experience for our riders in these beautiful new buses. Uh, obviously, none of this gets done easily. Uh, tremendous work that the mayor mentioned on the part of uh, RTS staff, great support from Teresa Scott and the Public Works Department. I want to thank Mayor Lowe and our city commission for the tremendous support they provide for our transit and for RTS. Uh, certainly could not do it without their support. And also want to acknowledge that the pr primary funding for these buses is through the federal stimulus. And so the support from our federal government has allowed this to happen and certainly we've had a great partnership with the Florida Department of Transportation and the University of Florida. So really great partners all around, uh, tremendous gift to the community and a great event. So uh, thank you very much and uh, we hope everybody gets a chance to ride these buses very soon. At this time, I would like to invite uh, Teresa Scott, Jesus Gomez, Assistant City Manager Paul Fuckers, and of course, uh, Mayor Craig Lowe to cut the ribbon. Here's 